Okay, so what is going on everyone? Of course, my name is Little My Man, and welcome back, thank you for tuning in to yet another one of my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. And of course, yesterday, yesterday we uploaded our one year anniversary on YouTube video, sort of the celebration video, and that was obviously a setup video as well, and we, and we sort of worked the 1K special in there as well. So basically, one year on YouTube, and obviously celebrating hitting 1K. So that's the setup video, the first link in the description below if you do wanna go check it out if you haven't seen it already. Without further ado, let's get into today's topic, which is obviously another episode of Everything You Need to Know About Zombies, the one series on YouTube where we go totally in depth on each and every aspect of the zombie storyline and gameplay. So, obviously, from the title below, you can see that we are talking about Farooked, obviously, the second installment in Call of Duty Zombies, the second installment in sort of the second map in sort of our journey, which is Call of Duty Zombies. So, I'm going to be covering pretty much everything to do with this map. So, uh, Stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, so straight off the bat, Verrucht. The meaning of Verrucht, translated from German into English, is insane or crazy. Um, this map is definitely, definitely creepy. We have a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of rooms that we need to sort of break down, sort of say what happened in them, and obviously the two Easter eggs in this map, we're going to explain all about that. Okay, so first off, we'll get the main topic out of the way. What way does this tie into the main zombie storyline? And sort of what's, the, what's this map's background? So basically, this map was sort of set and based off sort of the Wittenau Sanatorium in Pankow in Berlin, obviously in Germany, that's where this map is set, and uh, obviously you can see the sort of the real life picture, and you can sort of go from there, this is basically what they went off when designing this map, and you can also say that was basically, it basically is this map in another sense. So, um, how does it tie into the main zombie story? So basically, we all know Rick Toffin wanted test subjects, we all know Rick Toffin wanted test subjects, and everybody was obviously spying on Group 935 and their work because remember the time, the, the, this was all during the time of the war and Rick Toffen and Group 935's objectives and stuff were to sort of win the war for Germany in sort of an unnatural new way with new weapons, new weapons of mass destruction, sort of every everything that you usually suspect about war. This is, that, that's basically pretty much it. So Peter McCain, uh, an American OSS spy, um, was basically sent in to sort of spy on them and he was compromised they they, they sort of figured him out and uh, basically our marine team led by Tank Dempsey which is rumored to be the same marine team from Nactar and Toten obviously Nactar and Toten has been rumored to be really really close to this map just over over sort of the trees which we'll come back to in a second and um, basically he was already evacuated and we can obviously see his ba hanging body in Shinonuma um, at, at, the, at the sort of the start so he, we know he's dead but was he tortured was he tortured maybe he was tortured because there is a lot of torturing rooms in this map a lot of torturing rooms uh, which we'll come to in a second but um, you can see a lot of blood stains he could have been tortured but basically he he, he ends up dying and uh, in, in Sheen and him he's basically he's just, it's, you can just see his hanging body he's dead he's obviously not coming back to life and obviously our marine team that were sent here uh, led by Tank Dempsey, um, were basically all killed. Each and every one of them was killed, but Tank Dempsey was captured along with Nikolai and um, Takio from earlier, sort of earlier. Richtofen had already captured them, and then um, Tank Dempsey was sort of his new test subject, and it sort of went from there. We've already talked about what way the original crew went, so you can check that video out as well. It will be in the playlist like this playlist everything you need to know about zombies it will be on this playlist and a link to that playlist will be in the description below the playlist is on my channel and you can uh, you can sort of go from there if you if any if you're missed sort of wary on any information or anything just just check out that playlist and sort of brush up on your zombie knowledge but yeah we'll we'll go more in depth on this map so let's go so where to start where to start obviously our players start in two different rooms if you are playing in a party of four our player like it's basically two two on one side two on the other obviously you're split by there's normally a door here but since i i progressed to the higher rounds on my own playing solo uh i sort of i sort of opened everything up but, um basically there's a door there and basically you have to reunite yourself and that brings us to the first piece of writing on the wall it's like the power will reunite you it's written on both sides written on both sides the power will reunite you and it's written on both sides um, I have a theory on this. I have a theory on this. So basically, one Treyarch had to put it in there. Treyarch had to put it in there. To sort of, sort of say, outline, sort of 
what you, what you had to do, what was the aim, because they do it in Origins, obviously you have Samantha basically telling you exactly what to do throughout the whole thing, and it's just, they, they have to assist the players in some way. So that's one reason they put it in there. And then it's storyline significance, which is just a theory though, just a theory. Remember, Samantha is controlling the zombies at this point. Samantha is only after being taken over by the ether's energy. She's only after taking over the ether. So she's sort of getting used to it, and she still has that childhood sort of the ch sort of much of a child in her, uh, and obviously that that sort of diminishes over time. But remember, she likes to play games. Children like games. Samantha likes to play games, and that's sort of what that's sort of what the early maps are. It's just Samantha playing games with the team, and that's just my opinion. On it. Let me know what yours is, and of course, uh, moving on, moving on. Power opens up the door, bang on in between, sort of the two the two starting rooms and that is located way at the very f sort of far side of the map and um it has a hand on it it has a hand on it so back at the start back at the start we obviously have a torture room where one hand is strapped in and the other appears to not be there and where did this guy go we don't know but all we know is his hand is on each and every power switch in every call of duty map um obviously how is his hand transported into different sort of different maps well you have to leave that up to element 115 and its ability to displace objects through space and time but that is just a theory that is just a theory we could we could have mirac miraculous stuff of sort of um some some guy just falling at the last hurdle and of course losing his hand at the power switch every single time so moving on we obviously have another torture room another torture room personally this one is really creepy probably the most creepiest room i've ever seen in call of duty zombies we got first of all a lot of writing on the wall we got writing on the wall appears that somebody lost their mind in here somebody did lose their mind in here and it's fairly fairly creepy obviously we have a torture desk we have blades sort of knocked into that and we have blood everywhere as well it, it, like it's like somebody was dragged in here dragged up on the table and if you've ever watched movies like horror movies, like violent movies, you sort of know what way torture and works. And just the utensils in this room, like the oven and stuff like that, definitely not 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 very nice. If you actually stop for a second to think about it, all the blood dragged all over this map. People have been dragged, and it's just it's not a nice not a nice thought. Obviously, these were these were experimented on by sort of scientists and stuff that were here, and um. Whether it was Rick Tuffin or not, whether it was Rick Tuffin or not, we don't exactly know. But we know that a lot of people, a lot there was a lot of evil scientists. That's 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 sort of the stereotype and stuff behind behind this whole thing. There was there was a lot of evil scientists, and just they were testing on these guys and the, sort of the zombie outbreak. The whole the whole sort of thing that w that we've talked about numerous numerous amounts of times. And you can roll with the idea that this was a hospital, this was used as sort of a war hospital as well. But you can also look at it from sort of the other side. There is a lot of wheelchairs, there, was a, there is a lot of hospital beds around this map. And that sort of adds to the creepiness, like people with sawed off legs for example. And then, then they're put in a wheelchair to, to be retested on then again the next week. And it's just... It's just really weird, and there is a lot of other creepy stuff around this map. Like there's mannequins up, uh, like up being hanged on the wall, and also there's there's a mannequin with a load of blades in it, and you can you, people practice in their aim to be thrown at real people, and there's just a a lot of weird stuff on this map. A lot of weird stuff on this map. Aside from all the gory, horror-y, creepy crap, then basically let's move on to the good stuff for us zombie slayers and us true Treyarch zombies fans. First of all we have this, this this was basically the first map with defenses with traps and stuff all around the map and it really did work well it really did grab a lot more people into the zombies community and uh, it just it just sort of sparked off a new era because remember nectar and Taunt didn't really have much but when they released this map it also had it, like it, it did have a, a good bit and it sort of added added to the mode and um, of course one of my favorite things about this map is the perk posters and the perks sort of so basically if you didn't know already the perks are available in the future let's just say these perks are available in the future you can go up and buy juggernaut to feel healthier to feel more to basically get more health they're basically using more or whatever in the future or just in everyday life they are transported back in time because element one five basically you can look at it as an element that makes time travel possible 
and basically they are transported back in time and that's why they are in Verrucht and the posters also transported back in time that's why the posters are there remember do not get confused with your timelines they were transported back in time and the posters can be viewed around the map and personally I think I think they're really cool Honestly, they are really, really cool. I'd love to get them like in real life. I know some people have them. I'd love to get them in real life and stick them up on my wall and stuff. But yeah, they are basically seen all over this map. Okay, two best wall weapons, in my opinion, on this map are the Thompson and the MP40. Obviously, in the Black Ops One version, I'm sure they're in the Black on in the World at War version. Um, but you you guys can let me know in the comment section below. And of course, last but not least, we'll come back to the trees. Obviously, in the Nectar and Totem video, I said on the other side of these trees is rumored to be Vrookt. And uh, in this video, I said on the other side of these trees is rumored to be Nectar and Totem. So, let me know what you guys think of that. And um, of course, I think I've covered pretty much everything in this video except for our two Easter eggs. Now, our two Easter eggs one, you hold square at sort of the wheel, it's sort of the fix the wheel Easter egg. You hear a drill and then a man screaming. Who you want to assume that person is is entirely up to you. Um, you can pinpoint it to a few characters, but that that's a discussion for another day. And of course, if you flush the left, the far, most far left toilet three times, um, you get the musical in uh, the musical Easter egg lullaby for a dead man. I think that's what it's called. I'm sure that's what it's called. But you guys can let me know as well in the comment section below, and I'll probably check it after this video to see how much wrong I am or how right I am. So that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. As always, I hope you have an amazing day. This was a very long episode, so I would re really appreciate if you smash that like button. And of course, that is pretty much it for me. I hope you all have an amazing day once again, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Am I the weekend? Am I the weekend? Am I the weekend?